right, so I'm going to just kind of fill you in what we did to plan this Fill the Beetle event. Uh, we started this, the idea last year at NerdFest when they asked us to be one of the host cities for this year. So John and I pretty much been kicking around for four or five months. What do we want to do when we've got all you guys coming into town? So uh, I think it was about April when we finally settled on. Let's take advantage of the, of the man and family power that we're going to have here and uh, catch. Do, some, <laughs> do some good work for the community while we've got advantage of, of everybody being here. So we decided on the Phil the Beetle. So the first thing I did is go into our, our resource center into the wiki and look up. There's a couple nice documents that tell you pretty much how to do that part of it. We wanted to add a little twist because obviously we have more people to cover more locations. So we wanted to get Nerdmobiles at every grocery store in the area. That was our goal. <clears throat> and then the Salvation Army came to me and said, if we're going to do this food drive, because that was the other thing we did first, who are we going to do the benefit you know, for? And uh, my passion's always been with the Salvation Army. It's my church. I know what they do in the community. So that was kind of a no-brainer. But uh, they asked if we could also help collect uh, clothing. Because they're a partner with the Community Foundation here in town that does a back-to-school backpack giveaway. And every fall, they give backpacks to all the kids that need them. And the Salvation Army gives them a voucher to go to our thrift store and get some clothes. So we said, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I asked Charlie. He said he didn't have a problem with that. Um, and then we came up with this brilliant idea to have a concert. And we called it Nerd Aid Concert to Clothe the, the Children. Unfortunately, that has fallen apart. Um, became too big a deal. We actually had a Kiss, stage Kiss set up. Make it. Kiss declined to, you know, to come. They were just across the room. We, I know, I know, that's what I said. But because it was a Friday in an afternoon, all the guys in Kiss, they have day jobs, so they couldn't come. They're napping. They're napping. Who would run the park? But anyway, we did have a, a tough time. Yeah, we had a tough time trying to pull that part of it together, so we had to kind of cancel that and just focus on doing the food drive. So um, the next step was really to go to the stores to try to get the stores on board. So we hit all the big ones first: Myers, Target, you know, Walmart's, the uh, Super Kmart's, and uh, we got everybody in town, both Kroger locations. Um, Target, Meyer were the only ones that corporate turned down and wouldn't let us on their property to do it. So. Today we'll be at Meyer, which is at the north end in Fort Gratiot, excuse me, at Walmart. They've been awesome. I mean, they were the first ones to say yes. You'll see when we go up there, they brought in a big trailer for us to put all the food in. Oh my God. They've been wow. doing a food drive there with wow. all their employees. Um, they've got Pepsi, Coke, people out there are going to be serving hot dogs and stuff to the customers as they come in. So that, that's been just awesome um, because they're part of, in the same corporate is, is Sam's Club. Sam's Club was very easy to convince, so they they also agreed to it. And getting the other ones, Kroger's and uh, Super Kmart, probably took, where's John, three months of yeah. calling, bugging them, stopping in, just basically hounding them. And we actually had to trick Kroger's. Uh, <laughs> one of my friends, his wife's the manager at the other location, and we have been talking to the ones at the north end trying to get approval, and they've been saying they're waiting for corporate. So he said, well, just go ask my wife. She's a manager at, at the South End. And she said, sure, I don't need to wait for corporate. So it went great. We got Kroger on board. went back to the North End and said, the South End said it's okay. And they go, oh, it must be okay for us too. So their corporate doesn't really know about it, so don't tell them. <laughs> so anyway, we've uh, that, that was probably the toughest obstacle to come getting the approval to be on their property uh, soliciting for donations. The other thing we decided to do is John and I are both chamber members. We went to our chamber of commerce, asked them if they could help. So we've got about 15 businesses around town that all this week have had a big box with our posters all over it, doing their own drive with their employees and with their customers. So while you guys are at the store, John and I and some other volunteers are going to be driving around picking that stuff up from all the businesses. We'll bring it back up to Walmart and put it in their trailer there. Uh, let's see. The other big part of it was, you know, trying to get the word out. Um, how do you market this thing? And so we just went to, again, our chambers, doing those kind of meetings, any business club meetings, explaining what we're going to be doing, uh, asking for volunteers, asking for people to, to sponsor and all that kind of thing. And then from there, we tried to go to the media. We did a news release, a press release last week, got picked up by our local paper. Um, all the radio stations in town now have interviewed me on about this event. 
So it was down to the last one yesterday that I hadn't contacted. They heard about it. They called me and asked if they could do an interview. So we've been on every radio station in town, which is pretty cool. Uh, the stores themselves have been announcing it in the stores. So Sam's Club, John went up to get some stuff in there, announcing the nerds will be here this Friday. And so that's been going on all day. So we've really had great response from the community. Uh, Salvation Army is just, <laughs> this is to benefit them, but they've been just a huge help to me. So Don has been printing up a lot of the flyers. We got uh, some of the businesses in town to donate some of that stuff, but they've been a big help doing that too. We entered our local parade two weeks ago. We have a big parade that goes through town uh, every summer, and so we had our nerdmobiles in there. We had a company donate a big 10-foot banner, and John's family was holding the banner walking through the parade. So just anything we could do to get the word out, hopefully it'll pay off today when we get out there and start collecting donations. So. Um, other than that, it's pretty much been a, you know, it's just leg work and time work. There's not a whole lot of fancy, uh, I guess, method to this. This is what I use to go out and sell all the stores, just basically one of our folders, a flyer about what we're doing. They would always ask, okay, who is it, what's it for? So it's printed up a very simple flyer about the Phil the Beetle. Can't see it all. With the dates and everything, so they could send that to their corporate and get it approved. We've printed up... Uh, these items today you'll be giving out at the stores. One's a list of exactly what we're asking for. This came from the Salvation Army. What do they need? Canned goods, you know, box goods, whatever. And then also a thank you note. So John and I are offering a 10% discount to anybody today that donates even a can of beans. So you'll be giving one of these out to everybody that, that brings you back something. That's it. That's the extent of the documentation that we use to, to really pull this together. Um, <clears throat> I guess one thing I'm proud of, we got Walmart right off the bat gave us a thousand dollar grant, so that went immediately to the Salvation Army. That was supposed to pay for putting all this together. Um, we haven't had to spend a nickel of that. We've had everything, <laughs> everything volunteered, you know, donated. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, they'll be using that to buy more food. So um, I want to introduce to you guys, everybody, uh, Al and Adam Jones from Comfort Keepers. Uh, they do senior home care they have one of the coolest taglines i've ever heard we won't kill your grandma <laughs> <laughs> they do an awesome job helping basically helping seniors stay in their house longer and anything they could do to stay out of a nursing home kind of thing did you sign this up <laughs> well i was going to talk to you i'll get a card off <laughs> So uh, then I want to just say a couple of special thank yous to my wife and my family. Where did my wife go? Charlie? Where is she? No, she's in the back. That's there my wife, is. Donna. There's my son, Tyler. My daughter, Mandy, right here. And they've all been helping out tremendously. John, introduce your family. John and his family have just been an awesome amount of help with this whole thing. My daughter, Eve. Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> my daughter, daughter, Eve. <laughs> my other daughter, Crystal, and my granddaughter's off playing. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then next I want to introduce you to my parents because they, without them this wouldn't happen. This is my dad, Dr. Ray Everett, and my mother, Dorothy Everett. They've, uh, they've been doing this kind of thing in, in town here forever. They're the ones that taught me to give back. Um, so, <laughs> I'm choked up with my parents. <laughs> And I want to uh, just thank them for all their help. They've been doing this for years. The Christmas effort, everything that the Salvation Army does. This truck goes out to every emergency. If there's a fire, you probably tell them fire, flood, whatever's going on. Anybody that needs help, this truck goes out. They're there serving coffee, donuts to the fire worker, you know, firemen, the policemen, the victims, family, giving them blankets, whatever, anytime, day or night. That truck goes out, and those two are in it, doing it. So, so it's pretty cool. Wow. So, yeah. And then last, I want to introduce you to our new core officers here, our pastors at our church. Uh, just moved here a month ago. So this is Major Phil and Sheila Davison. So give them a round of applause. 